Hello everyone and welcome back to Viral Banda. My name is Ali Shavis Khan and in today's video, I am going to review another custom ROM for Redmi 2 Prime which is AEX version 5.1 which is based on Android 8.1.2 Oreo. So first of all let me tell you about the features of this ROM then we will concentrate on the hardware features. So first of all let me tell you about the UI of this ROM. You can see it is a stock pixelized UI. You can see this type of UI on the Pixel phones uh, which is running on Oreo. You can see the settings is just like Google Pixel phones. You can see the system, system here and developer options here. So this ROM doesn't come pre-rooted so you have to root by applying any method for rooting. You, you, you will not find any option to enable root access from here. But you can find developer options from here. So first of all. Uh, let me tell you the storage how much storage will you get after flashing the room so let me click on storage you can see 45% of storage is available to use only out of 16 GB 8.75 GB is already used now let me tell about the RAM how much RAM is available at the first launch of the room so let me go to developer options and you will find the memory option here click on this memory and you can see that out of 2 GB 1.3 GB is available to use and I haven't installed any RAM eating app like Facebook Messenger now let me tell you about the features of this room extensions of this room so just click on extensions and you can see all of the customization here like traffic indicators for internet and status bar items and you can see the notification panel you can customize this notification panel from here and you can enable or disable navigation bar and like my phone is already having the buttons physical buttons so I don't need navigation bar but if I want to enable I can enable from it here like you can see this I have enabled the navigation buttons let me disable it again and now uh, you can see you can also customize the recent UI of your phone like you can see this is the card style recent UI now let me enable the memory bar here and now memory bar will be visible here like you can see 1078 MB of RAM is free and I can also use slim type of uh, recent tabs but I don't want to and I can enable the cl clear all button in the recent UI here like you can see this one delete icon and you can also customize the lock screen of the phone and system animations buttons etc now let me come to the hardware feature so i have tested every hardware of this phone like wi-fi and bluetooth data ril services and also the calling features so i have tested the hotspot of this phone the hotspot doesn't always work on this phone you have to reboot your phone after you have enabled the hotspot for the first time and it's being active and if you disable the hotspot you cannot again enable the hotspot it will become it will say that the hotspot error you have to reboot your phone to fix this uh, and otherwise the hotspot is working fine the wi-fi is also working working fine i have connected the phone to the wi-fi and it's working very fine and i have tested the bluetooth the bluetooth is also working fine with my bluetooth headset and I haven't tested file sharing between Bluetooth devices and now let me tell you about the data data is also working fine I can say that it's fine the data disappears after each two minutes the data is not stable like you can see the data has been gone it just has came and gone I don't know why it's happening but it's okay it's the beta built of this room so i can say that it might having too many bugs that i haven't even find now now apart from these features let, let's test the camera of this phone so at first when i launched the camera the camera was lagging very hard it's not lagging that much but whenever you fast motion your phone like this you can see the lag in the camera the same thing is not with the front camera the front camera is working fine but the rear camera having some lagging issues 
it doesn't lag always but sometimes and here is another feature of this room whenever i insert a headset in this phone the music app got launched so let me show you how this works now that i have connected the headset you can see the music music app has been automatically launched and the music app of this phone is very good looking you can see here are some artists it's very good looking music app i haven't seen before on any room so okay guys this was the beta version of this room and it's not having too many bugs but it's few bugs like hotspot and camera but in future updates these will be fixed and i'm hoping that the future updates will be arrived soon so you can install this room if you want to uh, experience the stock android like on the pixel phones so thank you guys subscribe my channel like and share this video and i will upload another video soon